Hey everyone, Mattitude22 here with another figure review. Today we are looking at the DC Comics Multiverse Collect and Connect King Shark Wave. This is the Dark Knight Returns Joker. Now I definitely love this figure. It is my favorite figure in this wave. But I want to start out, I do have a huge, huge gripe with this figure. And before I get into it too much... I know I usually do the accessories at the end, but looking at this guy, he comes with a knife. That's pretty nice. It's a nice soft rubber molded in that kind of gunmetal plastic. I like it. And he comes with the pistol. That looks nice. It's nice and big. Looks good. Big problem. He can only hold one. I, I don't I don't understand that. I know you could make the argument that I've, I've I've seen the movie. I have I've read the comics. You could make the argument. Oh, he only uses one at a time. I get that. I do. But it would definitely have been nice for him to be able to hold both at once. And they gave him a sculpted fist. I do not understand that correct me in the comments i don't recall the joker ever beating anyone up in that movie i don't recall the joker ever punching anybody maybe with batman near the end i don't know maybe i'm tripping but to me it's just a it's just a big problem man they could have given him the sculpted fist and they could have given him an alternate hand that holds a knife i don't know it, it is what it is. It's just, I know it's a, I know it seems like a small gripe, but it's a big deal. I would have liked for him to have both. Moving on, this figure definitely is nice. He's a good size, nice and bulky, like the rest of the Dark Knight Returns figures in. I like that. The suit is very nice. Not a lot of, not a lot of paint, well, definitely no paint. Aside from the white, but there's no uh, there's no rubbing off, like on on the blue here. There's nothing, so the white looks really good. Like the boots are a different color; it doesn't bleed onto the pants. I like that. I like that. It looks really crisp. It looks really nice. You get to see a little bit of the shirt, which is purple. That looks okay. The white tie, not too bad. Not too bad. The boots are a nice, smooth blue. That looks good. And, yeah. Yeah, that definitely looks nice. Compliments him well. Gives it that little detail. The head. This is Now, this is the alternate head. He does come with a more kind of standard head which does look okay looks nice too this head was intended to you can see right there can, can you see it right there there is a batarang that goes into his eye i i miss i actually i did misplace that piece he fell off he fell down uh, off my shelf and the it went somewhere i don't know man but the head sculpt overall looks nice. It still looks nice even without the batarang in the eye. It just kind of is a nice screaming expression. I really, really like it. The hair, there's a lot of black shading. It looks really good. Everything about the face is nice. I like the, I like the color they painted the teeth. The red for his lipstick stands out a little bit of, a little bit of rubbing off on the white right there minor minor detail yeah, but this is definitely nice definitely a nice face sculpt and looking at this one this one definitely looks nice too i don't know i just i don't know i just didn't like this one as much it's definitely good for a more uh if you want your joker to be more calm and kind of like he's like he's contemplating something that's fine too. I, I like my Joker to be screaming. That's what it is. Looking at the articulation for this guy, unfortunately, there is a lot of 
it, a lot of articulation is being impeded. The head, you get side to side. That works good. Ball joint shoulder. Again, the suit is a harder plastic, so it only goes up to about there. See, you don't get the full range of motion, but you get the upper arm swivel. That works not too bad. Single jointed elbow. Mine is rather stiff. It seems to be a recurring trend with this wave. Very stiff, but you do have this single jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. Looks good. No, he does have an ab crunch, but it doesn't work. The suit is just, again, it's just a softer plastic, so you don't get any range of motion there. No, kind of, you get, you kind of get a waist twist. Not too bad, but not very much of one. Looking at the legs, again, the hips, they don't, they just don't move out at all. Fortunately, but you still get the upper leg swivel right there. That works. You get a little bit of swivel right there. Single jointed knee looks not too bad. The boots, the feet, no articulation. Like, well, you get a little bit. Not this one is very stiff. Okay, you get a little bit. I stand corrected. You get a little bit. Not too bad. And yeah, the hands look good. Definitely, definitely, I like this figure. I really like that Mattel is giving us so many Dark Knight Returns characters. The hand thing is just a big problem. I think if he would have been able to hold the knife and the gun at the same time, I would have liked it a lot better. And like, even with this hand, this hand was made to hold a gun. It holds the knife does anybody hold a knife like that? Like, does anyone hold a knife like that? Like, with the trigger finger? I don't know. Again, it's it's a minor gripe. If you like the Dark Knight Returns and you like these Dark Knight Returns figures, this Joker is definitely nice. He is still my favorite figure in the wave. There is some issues. Definitely, the hands are a problem. But if you can kind of, if you get over that, the accessories are nice. Sculpting is pretty good. Not a lot of articulation. I think, well, you have the articulation there, but it is blocked by this thicker jacket. But in all honesty, too, I don't remember him. Again, correct me in the comments. I don't remember him being that agile in the movie. So it's not too bad. Definitely definitely worth a pickup so thank you guys for watching please like share leave a comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace